Hello everyone and welcome to my first devlog on Everblast. Now I'm going to be talking about how I fixed my horrible game and how I was able to take my first game and turn it into this amazing demo that I'm really excited about. So first I'm going to talk about Fields of Elysium. This was my first game that I ever completed and it was a very basic platforming game. It was incredibly boring in my opinion. I think the graphics were decent and this was when I was just learning art. This first game was actually a huge accomplishment for me because I have like four or five unfinished projects. So now randomly at school, I decided that I was going to download my old game. And when I played it, I got like a huge hit of nostalgia. So then I decided I'm going to take this game and I'm going to make it good. So I instantly pulled up my Trello board and I started writing down ideas, worlds, and all of that and decided I know I'm going to be able to bring this to life. And I have no idea how after 10 months of doing nothing, I was all of a sudden able to open up the game engine and just start going at it. But that is what happened. After a few weeks, I decided the first thing I was going to do was redesign the UI. So I started making new menus, I started making a new background, and this was going pretty well. All of a sudden, I was able to add all the features I wanted, I was working extremely hard on my Trello board, all my features were getting complete, and this was really going amazing for a while. And so far, it's still going pretty good. Now the faults I went through, a lot of the stuff I added was very buggy, so I'd have to either rewrite it or do it again. Fixing an old game is very difficult because a lot of the old stuff that I wrote was not very high quality and was hard to understand and I didn't document what I wrote. So if you're just starting, I would give advice that what you're making right now, try to make it readable, try to comment your code so that you can understand it later. I think that because I worked really hard on this project, it really meant a lot to me. It really just made me feel something different and it's kind of hard to understand. But I think a good lesson can be learned from this. We never have to give up on our game. Even if something's really bad, we can work really hard to make it good. And this also goes into how important scope is and how your game idea must fit your skills. You have to design your game around what skills you have because it is a little bit harder to learn skills and fit it into your game. So when you're starting out, I believe that you should create a game based off of the skills you already have. If you know how to work hard and you're very self-motivated, then you really can accomplish what you want. Because these things, they gave me a ton of problems and challenges that I was willing to work through. And after that, I had what I wanted on screen and it felt amazing. With all of that said, welcome to Everblast. From here on, I have a basic demo of this game. Right now on my Discord server, I'm sharing it with playtesters so I can get feedback. What I have to do now is create the rest of the three worlds that I have planned in Trello. And the last one is the most important because it is what makes this game unique. I thought it would be really useful to make a video on how I've been able to turn my previous game into something that I really love and something I love working on and something that's becoming successful. And now I am making videos on it and I am posting and I am now making a game that people can play and it feels great. I'm very new to this so if you can hit subscribe and drop a like on the video that would really help me. And thank you for watching.